on that test. I failed it. I thought it was gonna be so much better. Same, man. I wish we were in the 1920s so I could have done so much better. Whoa, Whoa dude. What's this? I don't know, bro. Yo, what does this button do? <laughs> Whoa, where are we? Gnarly. Who are you and why are you in my studio? I'm Bill. It's Ted. I like your movies. Your parks are cool, bro. What what parks are you talking about? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Why are you here? It's a long story, but anyway, what are you working on? You aren't allowed to see it. I'm not done yet. Jeez. What a waste story. Big time, bro. If you're just going to make fun of me and use such language, you should leave so I can work. I, I was not prepared for a portrait today. Nah, veg bro. We got a question for you. Why'd you drop your brother from the name? Seems kind of selfish. We were actually talking about that recently. It's mainly because he is very good with finances and willing to take over that department instead. How do you know this stuff even though it hasn't happened? We have our sources. Wait a second. Why is no one else here helping you make these cartoons? I just prefer to be by myself when I work. Even though I make films for other people's entertainment, I don't consult anyone until I'm satisfied. That's clutch. I can't afford failure. I had a studio in Kansas City before I made it big, but it went under. It took me years of hard work before I came the Hollywood man I am today. It's all thanks to Mickey, I guess. Whoa! Seriously tired of this. It's giving me a headache. Who are you and how'd you get on my plane? Um, I'm Ted and this is Bill. So, um, who are you? I'm Charles Lindbergh. Welcome to the Lindbergh Boom. Where are we going? I left New York and I'm going to be the first person to ever fly to Paris on a non-stop flight. It's already been 20 hours, but I can't sleep or else the plane will crash. Can't you just put it on autopilot? Autopilot? Um, never mind. But what made you want to do this? Because of the huge reward. The Ortiz Prize will be given to the first person to make this amazing feat, along with $25,000. How's that for inspiration? Fair enough. Stop eating my food. What makes you think you can eat that? I'm, I'm hungry. You have food. Duh. I barely have enough food for myself. I don't have enough to share. Whatever, bro. It's been nice talking to you, but uh, we gotta go. See ya. Peace. This flight is 33 hours. I'm gonna starve. Um, excuse me. Where are we? You're in Paris, France, of course. We leave. That's French, right? Yes, but you're obstructing my work, so I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Why should we listen to you? Because I'm Coco Chanel, and this is my workshop. Oh! I've heard a lot of girls from my school talk about you. Didn't you, like, revolutionize fashion? Yeah, you're like the Lenin of fashion. I don't know about that analogy, but I am a pretty big deal. Uh-huh. But then why do us guys care about fashion for girls? Well, if you weren't insensible Neanderthals, you would understand that I made all the women who wear my clothing and perfume embrace a less feminine style. Yo, that's gnarly. You're more important than we thought. Well, that's our cue. Peace. Finally. Watch out! Oh. Sorry about that, you guys showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> who are you? I'm Bill. I'm not. Um, who are you? Babe Ruth. <laughs> are you serious? Babe Ruth is like the best baseball player ever. <laughs> Most home runs out of everyone. Uh... He's got like four World Series. I've only won three. Oh, well then it hasn't happened yet. Mm, what? Never mind. Well, it's great to meet a fan. Would you like an autograph? That'd be radical. How about you? I'm good. I was nominated for the Press Athlete of the Century, and you don't want anything. I'm good. Guess that's it anyway. It's an honor to meet you. See ya. 
gotta be joking. Another plane? Who are you and how did you get on my plane? Uh, uh to be honest, I have no clue. But I'm Ted, this is Bill. So, who are you and where are we going? I'm Amelia Earhart. We are over the Pacific Ocean right now, heading towards a refuel island. Gnarly. But why are you doing this by yourself? Wouldn't this be totally bunk? I'm trying to inspire other women, especially the youth, to reach for their dreams. What does bunk mean? Bunk means bunk. Duh. What type of question is that? Um, hey, what does this wire lead to? Uh-oh. You're such an airhead, bro. But we better get out of here. Enjoy channel surfing. I'm Charles Lindbergh. I'm Charles Lindbergh. I'm Charles Lindbergh. I'm Charles Lindbergh. Yeah, that's a little. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here, this is. Okay. This is not worth it. Some reason. <laughs> 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 